Town Club has my heart. I, I joined it when I was in my late 30s. I've been a member, wait, this gives my age away, but I've been a member since in the 89, past president on the board many, many times of the town club. I remember the days of yore. I remember the Carew Tower. We had a membership in those days of 350 people. Sherry Patterson was our secretary. Edith was our waitress, and we were at the Carew Tower where we would order food from downstairs. And you would call up Sherry, and you would have um, your lunch. Your group would come, and we would have little luncheons. We had many, many very wonderful meetings in those days, fashion shows. Um, we had many clubs, investment clubs, um, a lot of social events. Um, it was an era, and it started, the town club started by a group of women who wanted to have a nice facility when they went downtown. And this was maybe in the 20s, I think. And then it evolved into something with some real meaning. The um, idea for it was to promote and keep downtown as opposed to just the suburban clubs so that it was always there to bring people in, to hear about the latest in um, arts and politics and whatever was going on, and it, ha it became very thriving. And um, it, was, it was just a very, very special place with so many memories. We used to have membership. They would come to people's homes, so it was very intimate. Um, we would go to different uh, country clubs. We would have events for the men. And um, it, was, it was just a very different environment. I'm not saying that one or the other, they're just different. Um, it was a true club. We used to have, just like in all clubs, we would have assessments and you know, it, was, it was more expensive. I used to do finance for the club too. <laughs> so just ask me anything about that. And it was a very, very special time. And when I think of the club, I always think of it as a very wonderful, warm, place with wonderful women who care about the community and you know want to make the community better particularly downtown we all knew each other well I mean when I was single when I was dating you know after my first husband they would vote on my boyfriends <laughs> you know they're they would go forget that Elizabeth forget it you know and it was just it was just a different it was a different feeling and I, rem I was um, program chair for a while, and we would get these programs, because people, it was a huge group of women. When we went to the um, Bankers Club, it felt, because I worked, it felt more like a business club. And then when we came back here to the Queen City, I thought it got a little bit more relaxed, maybe, is the right, is the word. I'll never quit, I'll always be a member, because, you, you know, town club has a very special feeling. The reason I joined was we were in the Carew Tower, and Esther Binns asked me to display my artwork. And so that was the beginning of it, and I just loved all the people. And we've evolved. We were at the Carew Tower, and during my time there, we used to have lunch and learns in addition to the, um, the monthly meetings. We also started an investment club, and we, there were about 15 of us that met once a month and we learned all about stocks and how to invest our money. We had um, style shows every meeting um, with models from different places like Gronauer Furs and Casual Corner and all of those. The models would just walk around while, while we were eating. Um, we went on field trips. We went to Lexington, Gainesway Farms, Keeneland. Um, we had formal dances where our husbands came. We did wine tasting parties. And for a while, there was a bridge club. And um, it was a lot of little things that we could do. But that was when the membership was larger. So it was a way for us to 
kind of honeycomb things and get into little groups that um, we enjoyed. And I loved it because instead of my little town, my little part of Cincinnati, I got to know people in the whole city and learned of different organizations that if I wanted to, I could help with volunteering. I didn't have to. That was part of the, the uh, joy of being in the town club. You can come and be with women, but you aren't obligated to work on any clubs or do anything. I just loved it, and um, I'm glad I joined. I was asked to join by Molly Ozowski and Charlotte Dupree, who I knew them both from the Cincinnati Art Museum, and Eileen Noman, who worked at the Art Museum at the time. And the three of them encouraged me to join, and I'm glad they did. And I'm mentioning their names because they were very active when we were at the Bankers Club. Um, I think Molly was the membership chair at the time, and Eileen did reservations for many years. Um, she did historian publicity. I think she did them all <laughs> at the same time. And Charlotte was just the best model. Um, I know we have a lot of good models for our fashion shows, but Charlotte was just beautiful, gracious person. Um, one of the good memories I have at Bankers Club is that Charlotte had a group of ladies who would just come to the monthly meetings and model their own clothes, walk around while we were having lunch, and um, just say the stores that they bought their outfits at. Or something. It was very casual, and it was just a nice thing to do, and Charlotte was very always very excited to be able to do that at the meetings. And um, we have very good programs today. I think we always had very good programs, even at the Bankers Club. Um, it was a very large room. A lot of the artwork that the town club owned used to be on display sometimes, and other people would bring in, the members would bring in their own artwork and hang them up, you know, in the room that we met in. And um, the Bankers Club was nice. I think there was always a problem with the parking, as I recall. And sometimes the valet was there, sometimes they weren't. But, um, and, you know, it was just nice. It was nice for me to meet people. It was um, probably not the total membership we have now, I think. But, um, and then I, they moved here, um, which was a very nice move, too. And, um, I think I've had a lot of memorable moments here. Um, I worked on the yearbook. I have been chair of the day for a few programs. We've always had interesting speakers. And um, I think moving here was a nice thing to do. And um, I think the best thing about Town Club is just it's a very relaxed atmosphere. You come here, you sit with who you want. There's no assigned seating. and. Um, I notice many times after the meeting is over and the speaker is done, the meeting's adjourned, and many people still stay around and talk to each other and move to another table and the servers are coming in to clear the tables and people are still here. And that's a good sign. It's a good sign. So um, I'm just very glad. I, I always, I, too bad that Charlotte and Eileen are no longer with us, and Molly has moved out of town. So, um, but I always remember those three as being the people who introduced me to the town club. So I'm glad that they did. It was a very social club, and the women came from all parts of the city, including Kentucky, across the river. Of course, they were actually closer downtown than I actually am, but it was just a nice ride down Columbia Parkway. And it's a nice opportunity back then we could also shop. So we did more than one thing when we came here. Lunch, socialization, and also important shopping in all the great department stores that we used to have. We had our private headquarters and it was very, and it was open every day from roughly 10, 11 o'clock until about four o'clock in the afternoon. And there was always lunch available. Edith was there to serve us. And then we had the art exhibits, which was an attraction even for people who were not members. Between certain hours, they were allowed to come in and view the artists. I had two terms on the board, which is three years. Then one year, they could not find an extra one. Peggy Kahn was the president then. So she created a title for me, ex officio. So I stayed on for another year, so I had a total of seven years. 
But it was very enjoyable meeting the artists, researching art shows, and I got to be friends with many artists. In fact, um, Maza. Yvette. Yvette. I, somebody had recommended her. She was very famous for doing horses, but also portraits. So I interviewed her, and, lo and, and she exhibited, of course, and lo and behold, she joined us shortly after and has been a wonderful member ever since. Of course, Ruthven came, and then Charlie Harper, who's still famous with his abstract kind of art. And one year we even had um, Charlie Harper's wife. She exhibited also. She was an artist. And then we varied the art uh, mediums. It wasn't just oil paintings and um, watercolors. But actually, the art business started because in the very early on, of course, I wasn't around then wasn't in town even, but there were many artists. So the, it started in-house, actually, the art exhibits. And, uh, but then, as years went on, we got more famous artists, and then, then we got a small percentage of the, of the sale of, of the art that was sold. And we did have some quite renowned artists. Now, Mary Lynn White, well, she's another person, well, she was also a social reporter for the Post, and, uh, and she was a prolific artist. And her husband was an attorney, but when he retired, he started to paint also. And they did very colorful, splashy things, but they were, but she was a delightful person, even in spite of a handicap. She communicated beautifully. It's still a wonderful club, and we do have some rather famous paintings that we still have in storage, and I hope we see them. I exhibited at the town club when it was in the Crew Tower. And I think I was teaching at UC at the time. It was in, in the early 70s. And my main recollection is it was trying to park out on, was it Vine Street? Is that Vine Street? And haul these large, like 46 by 38 paintings into the, into the Crew Tower, into the elevator, and up to the town club. And then we hung the paintings. And then we had an, they had an opening, and I spoke. And that's when I, my first initiation with the town club. I published a book with Cincinnati Book Publishing on my art. And Mary Ann Taylor said, you know, Beverly, you should join the town club. You know, you really meet a lot of prestigious people and would be very good for you after you, when you publish a book. You have to market it. I, then I joined the town club. And I've enjoyed it ever since. I always knew I was arriving at the town club through the maze, the corridors, uh, at, at the crew tower, by the decibel level of the voices as I got closer and closer. Uh, it was always a maze. I always had difficulty trying to find it. But as I got closer and closer, the ladies' voices got louder and louder. And I would come upon uh, pink French doors. And, and the pink doors were always the symbol of the town club. And we would go inside and have a wonderful tea, have a wonderful luncheon uh, with the other ladies. And we had a kitchen, and we had a wonderful staff in the kitchen. And we all uh, celebrated our club secretary, Sherry, who was always at the desk. Some ladies remember her smoking constantly. And I remember chairing the fashion show for a couple of years uh, for the town club, which we would have in the Hall of Mirrors. And uh, Sherry always instructed us, uh, if we were chairing a meeting, to bring a, a whole coffee cake. So I would uh, go to the bakery and, and get a, a cheese coffee cake, and nobody would eat the coffee cake, and I would take one piece and eat it, and Sherry would eat the rest. <laughs> well, I think maybe two reasons motivated me to join the club. Um, I knew lots of, had lots of friends uh, at town club, and it was a club in uh, Cincinnati that anybody could join. Um, you did not have to be approved by a board. It's just, you have stay at home moms, you have working women, you have just a nice variety of people. And anybody who wanted to join and paid nominal dues could join. And that sounded like a good idea to me. It was just a fun place. My very favorite thing about it is that it was a lovely big room, well furnished, nice food, you came for lunch. Um, 
saw your friends, sometimes there was a program, but it was geared to women. There was no men's room. Those were the days. We had pogues. Oh, golly, remember pogues in yes. the tea room? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I had pogues, and we had Mabel and Carew, and we had Shilatos, I guess it was called yeah. then. So, um, yes, and, and so there were things to do uh, when you came downtown. Seldom do I skip a program, really. You know, uh, generally um, I come occasionally, and I don't know why. Some meetings, yes, some meetings, no. Um, we'll have like a wine and cheese first. People come in and socialize, and um, and it's just a nice, you know, for at least once a month you're going to get together with your friends. You don't have to do anything. You just show up. I had a good friend from the Women's Club at that time, Elaine Noonan, who invited me to come to Town Club. Immediately, I enjoyed the people that I had met there. This was a whole new group for me. We were at the bank, we were at the uh, Carew Tower at the time, and it was lots of fun, of course, to come downtown and do our shopping downtown. And the town club offered a new experience, uh, a lot of people that I didn't know. Eventually, I became membership chairman, and uh, again, uh, I enjoyed bringing new people into the club, and I enjoyed the sponsors, I enjoyed meeting a whole group of, of new friends. We moved to the Bankers Club, and at that time we were doing a lot of other outside activities in the club, which was fun. We took some side trips. We went to the uh, Playhouse in the Park together as a group, and again, extending the friendships that, that were, we were making. Um, when we moved to the Queen City Club, I had been rather inactive, I guess, uh, during those latter years at the Bankers Club. My children were small and I didn't have as much opportunity to be coming downtown as such. Elaine, um, Eileen, Eileen Nolman was president and had asked me to be chairman of the day. And I remember introducing um, Dean Gregory of Montgomery Inn and that was the first time he had spoken to a group and he was a little nervous at the time. But in the end, it was a wonderful presentation and Again, I renewed some friendships, met some new people, and started coming back on a regular basis. Currently, I'm program chairman, and I'm enjoying uh, a whole new outlook for Town Club. We have a lot more professional people in our group now. We do have some very entertaining and exciting programs, and the friendships, however, are still there. People come up to me often and introduce themselves. Every time I sit at a new table with new people, I've met someone that I didn't know before of interest and enjoyment, and it's just been wonderful. Well, I couldn't imagine life without it. <laughs> it's been part of my life for so long now, and apparently I've been a member of the town club longer than anybody else. Everybody was joining the town club at that point and not the women's club because the town club served alcohol and the women's club didn't. I'm a teetotaler, I don't drink alcohol. But I enjoy the, I enjoy the company and I enjoy the programs very much. And I'm so glad to see that it has grown so much over the years. It's still the number one most popular club in town, I think. I was on the board for three years. I was publicity chairman, and I, every month I had to write about the upcoming programs. What has remained the same is the camaraderie. What has changed? We no longer have to wear hats and white gloves. <laughs> We still have to behave ourselves. That's not always easy. Well, we had a wonderful space of our own in the Carew Tower, as you know. We had places where you could drop off your packages while you were shopping. We had pogues underneath, and everybody shopped there. And then we had lovely luncheons, and we, every year we had a fashion show. I was very thin in those days, and I was a model. We had great fun modeling. It was in the uh, Netherlands Hilton, 
and we were always sold out. But I enjoy the company, enjoy the programs, enjoy the luncheons. What's not to like? I joined Town Club because it seemed like a wonderful opportunity to be with women who um, enjoy being with each other. And then when I attended as uh, a proposed member, the programs were interesting and I belonged to various other organizations where there was good programming, but there was something unique about Town Club that gathered just for uh, to be together socially, to hear a good program, and to have a delicious meal while we sat and chatted and um, attempted to build community around our tables. Because I have a lot of other activities in my life, I was also um, impressed by the fact that there was no committee work and no fundraising. And yet there was ample opportunity to hear about things that were happening in the city from members who were already involved and wanted to promote the organizations that they were a part of. I think the club has such a rich history uh, that today it has weathered the storms of moving to various locations through its years. Uh, but all of those challenges have helped to create the foundation. They've weathered those storms in a way that there's still a core group of people who've maintained their membership through these years.